In 2.2, Tableau continues to push forward with metrics. You can now edit the configuration of a metric without having to go back to the dashboard and change the configuration. Essentially, metrics are becoming a little bit more portable. Let's get stuck in. So we're here in a folder that I created back in 2020.2 where I have a bunch of metrics. So I wanted to specifically go back to something that I hadn't touched in a long, long while just to see if this feature really is that good. So let's go ahead and pick a metric. This one was refreshed an hour ago. That doesn't really mean anything because the data sources behind these aren't getting refreshed that often at all. But the metrics get pinged every hour just to make sure they're absolutely fresh and so they always will be. Now that we're here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my face up here to the middle just so it's out of the way of the chrome of the interface. So now what you can see is the old metrics interface that we're used to. But there's actually a couple of very, very subtle changes. Firstly, you've got this uh, bit of context here. And uh, if I escape this and I just go over here to the right hand side, when I hover over this right hand space, just watch what happens when my mouse goes over this. You see that we get these two editing indicators. And essentially, this means we can change this. So you can, of course, change the description and add a test description. Uh, but uh, when I save that, obviously I haven't had to go back to the viz and do this from scratch, so this is good. But this is the key feature here, the configuration. When I click on that, I'm now able to edit the date range. So at the moment it's the last 12 months, I can say last 60 months, and it will go back as far as that data source allows. And I can go to max, which is basically as much as the data set has. And then I can also even go to a custom range. Let's say that you do a rolling 18 month perspective on things, you can set this up too. But it doesn't stop there because you can also add a historical comparison. So here you can see historical comparison type compare to how many months prior. And I can compare it to, let's say, the previous three months and also show a comparison line so that I can see that uh, in the visualization. Now, the other thing I can do is set a custom day. I can do a bunch of different things. But in essence, we've got full control of how this works and how it's all working. The comparison type is also really handy because as well as doing a historical comparison, you can just add a target line, for example. So here, if I want to set the target to 40,000, I can just go ahead and type that and it'll draw a reference line across the visualization showing my target. And of course, this stays dynamic as it's supposed to. And you get this little label here at the bottom changing. When you're done, you can obviously change the context so the status when you're above the uh, performance is good when you're at the value it's neutral and when you're below it's bad let's hit save and so you'll see that the indicator here goes red and when it's above it goes green these are really small touches but they really do make for a better experience but the key thing is when you uh have the metric functioning on server um this uh, value up here will change color depending on the current sort of month that you're in over there as well now the other thing that's new is this context over here so i now can very quickly once i've set that sort of comparison i can actually change that context anyway so you can set it to default to 18 months which is exactly what you've typed in or what you've set but the 12 month the 60 month and the max are just standard so this is always going to be there and available to you to browse so i think this is really nice because it brings some of the capabilities that we could kind of access in mobile just by swiping our finger left and right very easily back to desktop. But that's pretty much the change on metrics. Be sure to check out all my other videos on metrics. They're all on the channel. I could probably make a playlist for you just on metrics features that have been updated over time. Um, but if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the other videos on 2022.2 and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.